Hello everyone, my name is Charlie Coyle and I'm Program Assistant to the Student Success Center here at Gordon State College. And I'm here today to share with you a little bit about how to use Excel 2010. And what I've created is just um, a fake club. This is my art club. Um, I've got members. Uh, their email addresses, their position in the club, the semester they joined, and whether or whether or not they've paid their dues. Um, I've just typed this all in. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you so you can see it um, in the video. So I'm going to click in this top uh, cell and then drag it down and then go ahead and bump up my font size here so you can see. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice is that the standard cell sizes are too small for the amount of information I have in them. And I'd really like you to be able to see the full name, the full email, and so on. Um, there's a really easy way to do this. It's kind of fun. If you have all the columns highlighted, what you can do is go to um, in between a column on the little line that divides them. And you'll notice that my cursor has changed. Um, once it changes, just Double click really fast. And you'll see that it's expanded the column so that you can see everything in them. So now you can see the full names and the full email addresses and so on. Um, this is what's called just a range. It's just information in a cell. But to use Excel's full capabilities, you really want to turn it into a table. Um, and it's really easy to turn information to a table. Just highlight what you want. Then go to Insert up here on the tab. And then just click Table. Now it's going to ask you um, if, you've, if what you've selected is what you want um, to become a table. And you can shift things around here if you would like to. And I want to be sure to click My Table Has Headers because I've already typed in the headers. So I'm going to click OK. And there, we've got a table. Um, once you've created your table, as long as you um, are clicking anywhere within it, they have some preset designs you can choose. There's a lot of them to pick from. If you hover over them, you can get a preview of what they look like. Um, I like the simple green one, so that's what I'm going to choose. Now, if you're not a big fan, you like, the, you like the cell colors, but you don't like the green font, I think it's a little hard to read. I'm just going to highlight everything. And on the Home tab, I'm going to come up here to this little A icon with a red bar. And this is the font color option. I'm going to click that drop down, and I'm just going to do automatic. So that's much easier to read. One of the cool things about tables is they have a great filtering system. Um, you'll notice under each header, there's this little arrow right here. If I wanted to, for example, put these names in alphabetical order, my um, members, I just click this drop down and select sort A to Z. And now it's sorted everything from A to Z. Um, another neat filtering trick is that you can filter out um, things you don't want to see and only focus on the things you want to look at. So let's say I want to email everyone who hasn't paid their dues. And I could go through and just find no and copy and paste all the emails. Or I could click under the drop down for paid dues. And right here, um, under text filters, you'll see a search bar and you'll see select all, no, and yes. And what I want to do is I want to unselect everything and only click no. So it's going to show only the people who have not paid their dues. So I'm going to click OK. And there we go. Now I have three people who haven't paid their dues, or four rather. So I can just highlight um, their email addresses and copy them into my um, email. It's pretty nifty. If you want to clear a filter, there's a couple ways to do that. You can go up here and select all again, or you can click clear filter from paid dues. If you want to turn these arrows off altogether, if you go to the data tab, you can just click filter and they'll go away. And that'll also remove any filters you, you have on. It won't remove the sorting, um, but it will remove your filters. Um, I encourage you to play around with some of the things on the data tabs and play around with the filters. There are a lot of possibilities for how to use them to make your spreadsheets more efficient. 
Um, the next thing I want to show you is um, called a pivot table. And this is just a new way to take information in your table and make it more easy to read. You can pull out exactly what you want to know. So I want to know just how many members I have. Um, and this is a short uh, table, so you know I could just highlight this and see down here at the count, well, I have 10. Or I could just see, well, there's um, 11, 11 rows filled, and I have one header, so that means I have 10. But if you have a long table, let's say in a couple years, my club has really grown, pivot tables are a much easier way to look up this information. Um, to create a pivot table, go to Insert, and then Pivot Table, you can just click right there. Now they're going to ask you to select the table or range of information, and it's um, already selected my table, so uh, that's good. And it defaults to start a pivot table on a new worksheet, or you can put it on an existing worksheet. I'm going to just create a new one, so I'm going to click OK. So this is my blank pivot table, and you'll notice that there are um, all my fields listed right here. And then there's these different kind of categories you can use. There's report filter, column labels, row labels, and values. So I want to know how many members I have and what their positions are. Um, just numbers. I don't really want to know names. So what I'm going to do is click on position here. I'm gonna, when I click, I'm not going to let release. I'm just going to hold it down and drag it down to row labels. Oh, it didn't go. Let me try again. Here we are. So now I have a list of um, all the positions for my club. But I want to know how many people are in each position and I also want to know a total num number of the members. So um, I know that every member name is um, populated in my table so I'm going to click and drag this down here to values. And what it's done is Excel has recognized that I'm looking for a count because it's just names, not numbers. And it has counted the number of people labeled member, the number of people labeled president, treasurer, and vice president, and given me a grand total at the bottom. Um, now you can go back and just click on these cells if you want to label them. So instead of saying row, level, row labels, I want to do um, position. And instead of count of member, well, that's kind of nice, but if I wanted to change it, I could say number of members. And then I just double click there to expand it like we did in the very beginning. And that is a very simple pivot table. Um, there's lots of different possibilities for how to use pivot tables. Play around with it and, and see um, what you come up with. If I wanted the member names, I could just drag the member names under row label, for example. And there I have the names of all my members, my president, my treasurer, and my vice president. And you can expand them um, or, or not. Um, there's lots of options. It's really fun. Um, that's my brief video for today. If you have any questions on how to use tables or pivot tables, um, I'd love to hear from you. I hope to make another video about Excel soon. Have a great day.